Hey business owner, welcome or welcome back to my slice of YouTube. My name is Ashley Deering. I'm the CEO of a digital marketing agency called Deering Media that specializes in social media. On this channel, we break down everything you need to know to help your business shine online. In today's video, we're gonna break down everything you need to know about using trends in your TikToks and Instagram Reels. How to spot a trend, how to tweak the trend, and how to utilize it to effectively market your business. So if you're ready to learn how to use trends effectively and how to spot them, you're in the right place. Let's go. Utilizing trending audio and trending effects in your TikToks and Instagram Reels is a surefire way to have your content seen by more people. This happens because the algorithm already knows that this trend is hot and is pushing it out to a wider audience that has similar interests. Now, this isn't a surefire way to always go viral. However, I do believe that incorporating trends within your marketing strategy will help you reach a wider audience that you can hopefully convert into engaged followers. Look, I get it. Creating mass amounts of content while you're a busy business owner trying to wear so many different hats within your business can seem a little overwhelming. It's very tempting to just go on something like TikTok or Instagram, find a trend, and just completely copy it the way you saw it. But what are you getting out of that? If that video goes viral, the people that you'll attract with that type of content will go over to your profile, see that the video has nothing to do with your niche, and you won't be able to convert them into an engaged follower. Or even worse, you do capture them as a follower, but then they're just kind of there as a ghost follower who's not there for your content, isn't really engaging for you, and isn't really feeding into the goals that you have at the end of the day. Okay, so that's the wrong way to utilize trends, but how do you utilize them to actually grow your business and your brand online? My first tip for you is to incorporate trends within your social media marketing strategy without letting it become the main piece of content that you're pushing out. Since Reels and TikToks are great for pushing out your content to a new audience, they're not particularly serving the people that you have already converted into loyal followers. You gotta make sure that you're still showing up for them and you do that through your stories and your feed posts, creating content that provides the value that you promise the people that have followed you. You're also going to want to approach every video with the mindset of, okay, how can I apply this to my niche and how can I serve my audience? So even though it's a silly trend, people are jumping on it, always approach that audio or that trend or that movement with how can I put my own spin on this? So maybe it's somebody who feels frustrated about something. Put a spin on that and make it your customer frustrated about a pain point that they're often facing that you have a solution for. The whole point of this is if you're getting new eyes on your content, you want to convert them into loyal followers. So make sure that you're giving them a reason why within that quick little video. When I'm researching for trends, the first place I'll go is TikTok. A trend can begin and end on TikTok before it even blows up on Instagram Reels. So it's fair to say that trends usually originate on there. As I'm scrolling, I'm looking for audio and trending effects that come up about three times. That kind of lets me know that that's hot and it's being pushed on the For You page. Then I'll go one step further by going into the audio and seeing how many videos are associated with that audio or effect. If it's between about 5,000 and 100,000, that's a sweet spot for me. And then I'll go one step further. I'll save the audio and trend directly on the app. But then I'll also copy that link and bring it over to my notes app and just write a little note to myself about what I wanted to do with this trend and how I could put my own unique spin on it. So the next place I go to look for trending audio is actually Instagram Reels itself. Instagram makes it super easy because they have the Reels tab. You can easily go in there, you start scrolling through the videos, and as you're scrolling, look at the audio to see if you see a little check mark in the upwards position. That means that that audio is on the rise. I'll then do the exact same thing as I do with TikTok where I go and I go over to the audio itself. I see how many videos are associated with that song if it's too saturated I move on but if it's in that sweet spot 
I'll then save the audio directly on the app, but then I'll also copy the link and then bring it over to my Notion board where I keep all my brainstorming ideas. So that way when I go to batch shoot my videos, I have everything easily accessible. I already have the audio pulled out. I know what I want to shoot with each one and I can just easily kind of bang them out within like an hour or two. So another way to easily find trends is to use third party apps like Trend Talk. Trend Talk is an app that I pay for. This is not sponsored. And it allows me to, well, first of all, it gives me notifications every day with the different audio that is on the rise that I can use. I do find that these are usually a little oversaturated, but what I really like Trend Talk for is being able to go into designated playlists. I'll scroll all the way to the bottom to see what new trends are on the rise. I have had so much success finding trending audio this way. I'm gonna close up this video with one last tip, and it's something I've repeatedly said throughout this video, but don't forget to be unique. You are going to kick yourself if you have a video that goes viral that has absolutely nothing to do with your niche or your business. So make sure you treat each video with an opportunity to put your own unique twist on it as if it's the first time that somebody's ever going to come across your business. You only have a couple seconds to convert them, so make sure that you're really sticking to your guns and putting your own unique twist on it so you stand out against the sea of competition. So there you have it. Using trending audio in your TikToks and Instagram reels is a great way to get your content in front of new eyes and hopefully convert them into followers. But don't just follow the crowd. Make sure that you are using trends that are up and coming and that you're always approaching them with your own unique twist so you can stand out. I hope this video inspired you to take a leap and incorporate some trends within your social media marketing strategy. If you made it this far, I hope you've liked this video and subscribed to my channel. I show up every Monday morning to provide tips and tricks for busy entrepreneurs who are trying to show up consistently online. Make sure you check out the description below so you can download your free brand style guide so you can stay consistent across multiple platforms. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.